Hello everybody, my name is Bleeker, and welcome to the official playthrough of Mick5's latest Minecraft survival map, Map Quest! The Portal Crystals. Like I said, I am your host, Bleeker, and if this is your first time to the channel, welcome, welcome. If you want to stay up to date on this series, please hit the subscribe button below. I am much appreciated. If you are returning, um... Hmm, I gave us- I gave the community a name. Yeah, whatever. An auspicious crew? Yeah. If you're a returning an auspicious crew member, God, that is a terrible name. Anyways, rolling on. So today we are gonna begin Map Quest the Portal Crystal. Remember, this is your only official playthrough. That feels so good to say. <laughs> we are going to cover just about everything that we possibly can in this map. But first, but first, I don't know what. We're just going to start. Go! We're going slowly. Ah, oh, there we go. Um, oh god, reading. Make sure your internet is on or the custom heads won't work. This head should look like a sandwich. I can, in fact, confirm that looks like a sandwich. The texture pack should have loaded. Yep. One player only. Yep. I have all of this set up correctly. As I already did the trailer for it. Rules. Make 11 one on crafting. Some quick notes. Yeah, let's read this. Quick notes. Survival mode. Don't need anything. Alright, sweet. Well, I'm not really going to need too much of this anyways. I'm not going to be in here for very long. Um, credits. Yep. Optifine is recommended. Um, since I am running a badass PC, I don't really need the Optifine. Old Bessie here is going to just do it. I have all of my rendering set. Yep, yep, yep. Let's do it. Before you start, please make sure you're using Optifine. Yep, let's do it. The story. Long ago, your brother disappeared and there hasn't been any trace of his disappearance. But one day, when you were cleaning out your brother's old boxes, you found a map that has brought you to this place. So you rented a house and started exploring this cave for clues. But before you had a chance to leave, the cave entrance caved in. Now you need to escape from this place and get back to your house. Your game is now set to survival. Use all your resources to make ladders and pickaxes. And don't bother about making weapons or armor. Just escape from here as quick as you can. Alright, so. There's the exit. This is where we need to go. Now you're not in here for too terribly long. If you want to make like a mini survival series out of just this room, by all means go on ahead. Like I said, we're not going to be here too terribly long. So I'm just going to upset, make the basics. I'm going to make the basics very slowly. Thank you, thank you, thank you. There we go, this should be adequate. I'm just going to very quickly make a pickaxe. It's going to be slow going. This is all we're going to need. That jukebox volume's a little quiet here. No, I guess not. Oh well. We're almost through. So just a couple of expectations for the series here. I'm going to cover, you have to recover objects basically to um, complete this map. I'm gonna recover all of these objects at some point or another. Um, I have only completed a little over half the map. I basically did the bare minimum to actually complete the map. So that way I can be surprised with the series as well as you guys. But basically, essentially it comes down if you complete the bare minimum, you get one ending. If you complete the whole thing, you get a special ending. And we're going to do both. Oh no, looks like another cave-in. I'll need to build some blocks up to reach the exit. Okay. <laughs> That should be adequate enough. I am totally gonna nerd pull this. Eh, there we go. 
Now I'll elaborate more on what we're supposed to collect as we progress through the story, but for the time being, just know I'm going to collect everything. Never quit the map in the middle of a conversation. Good advice. Um, sound credits to DL Sounds for some royalty-free music. Nearly everything is interactive in this map. Um, Right-clicking on, right-click on everything you see. Um, are you in Minecraft? Yes, I am. Um, use Ender Chest. Yep. Music setting zero. Yep. Um, voice and speech options. Music and sound. Yep. Um, is your render distance above 11? I hope so. I literally have just made the trailer yesterday for this map. So I should be pretty high. Options. Video settings. Yeah, 26. Your game mode has been set to adventure. And your inventory has been cleared. If you continue forward, you will find your house and the items you left in your chest. Thank you, Siri. Do you mind? Thank you. Map Quest, the Portal Crystals. Created and built by Mick underscore five. Anything else? Nope. Oh, what's that? Click link below to see the channel. I've never noticed that. Huh. I guess when you guys do your adventure, tell me what that does. Rented by Bleaker48. That is I. Okay. Um, internet. Oh, Ender Chest. Very important. That'll be very important here. Um, food. Yes. Money. Money is going to be a big factor in this game. Um, right away, money kind of... At the beginning here, money is going to... What's the word I'm looking for? Oh, important info. Let's read this really fast. Keep track of quests and books. Yep. So basically, you're going to have quest logs, and we'll get these as we go along. Um, quest books. To keep track of quests, a book called a quest log will be given to you for each quest. You start when you complete a quest, the quest log for that quest will be removed or updated. So it is a good idea to always carry the quest log with you for doing that quest. Um, ender chests are my extended inventory. And teleport hubs. This is something new that Mick tried out, and I really do like it. You'll come across teleport hubs on your travels. When you find one, it will only unlock when you have discovered a teleport hub another, on another part of the world that lets you travel between the two. And then there's going to be information centers, which will give us, like, history and backstory. Um, but I'll leave you guys to explore the history of this place. I am more, I'm slightly more concerned with getting you guys through the map. As I was saying before, the only bottleneck Optifine has recommended for this map and a good PC. <laughs> Mick. <laughs> now, like I was saying before, money is going to be a bottleneck here early game. Oh god, what color should I wear? Hmm. What are these? No. Black. Black is more metal. Yeah! Jaya! Now, money is going to be a bottleneck here early in this game, and we'll, I don't think we'll get to that point here this first episode, but I will explain in a little bit more detail. Up, opening cutscene, let's do this. I don't know how the hell he made this. It baffles me to this point how he made this map. I think his f oh. quest. Hey, look. Okay, now head to the village in the Lost Woods. Speak with uh, Tamron in the village there. And you got main quest log one. After escaping the cave and finding your way back home, you're ready to find some information on your brother. First place to go is the village Lost in the Woods. Follow the signs. Once at the village, speak to Tamrin. Then before you leave the village, you will need a sword from the old blacksmith that lives in the village. All right, I'll keep the quest log on me. I got plenty of food. I got an energy vial. I really don't use the energy vials too frequently, but I do keep one on me just in case. Oh, let's see here, Fallows Creek. Now it's, it's a really good idea, especially here in the early game, is to journey off the beaten path a little bit. And the reason why is, um, you might find a reward or two for your efforts. Uh, Mick likes to hide chests all over the place. Yeah, 
Like, for example, I know around here somewhere, I believe it is over here? There it is. Like right here, for example. And look at that, gold coins. These are going to be your currency throughout the game, and they this these sm silver coins represent one dollar. The gold coins represent five, and we'll eventually get money bags at some point. But yeah, don't be afraid to just journey off the beaten path a little bit. I, for the sake of this playthrough, will do that to try and help you guys out with money and stuff and find finding money. Up, oh, like for example, here, down here, a ways is actually a chest that contains loot. Look at that, a money bag. And a rare cocktail potion. Yes, right there, down there at the bottom. Um, look, yes, look high and low, because you never know where a chest ought to be. And again, I don't really use potions too frequently. They're usually just kind of there for me. Oh, there we go. Getting caught, caught in the bush. Mmm, giggity. Anything over this way? Now that I don't know. No, there is not. Now, as I stated before, I have not done all the this entire map yet. So, I'm, some of this will be a surprise for me as well as you. But I promise you, my walkthrough for this will be on par. You will not leave here unsatisfied. Okay, well... I'm not going to venture off the beaten path too far this first episode. There's lots of open worlding to be done later. Uh, let's do some story driven. Welcome to the village lost in the woods. To the village lost in the woods. Mm, not very lost. Ah, huh, that's neat. Um, Tarman. Tamrin. Tamrin. Hello! Hello, the Bleaker48. You have come a long way to look for your brother. I'm just going to refer to myself as Bleaker in here, so keep it simple. Wait! You know me, and you know I'm looking for my brother? Sorcery. The stars in the crystal ball tell of a stranger named Bleaker who will come to this land in search of a brother. Yeah, that's me. Do you have any questions, Bleaker? When you see a choice, use the slash key. Oh, yep, slash key. And then click on a choice. So it's a very interactive map. Left click to click on a choice. Um, yeah, let's do shows all in the crystal ball. No, actually, the mayor told me you had come to your brother. The mayor is a jerk. Mayor is a jerk. And speak to him for more answers. Oh, I'll have to speak to him for more answers. All right. Um, tell me anything about my brother. Yes, your brother was sucked into a portal breach while he was in Stonewall Village. If you want any more info, oh, you should go see the mayor of Stonewall Village. Eh, let's do some lore. This town has been abandoned for years. When Stonewall Village was built, many left, but I stayed and so did a few others, including the blacksmith. Excuse me. Go there, get a sword. You will need one if you're to venture forth. Thank you. Before we do this, I am going to rob you blind. Nice. Anything else I should note? I apologize for robbing you blind. That is all. Leave Tarman's house and you see the path to the right leading to the blacksmith house. Um, yes, I am going to go there. Tarman's house straight a Tamrin's house. Tamrin's house. Tamrin the Mystic. Okay, so this is Tamrin's house. Hello. I lost my green key when I was at Stonewall Village the other day, and I am very upset. If you happen to find it while visiting there, please return to me. I received a quest log, so I can keep up with this. Yes, find the green key, bring it to her. Excellent, 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 excellent. So main quest. I, of course, am also going to rob you blind. It's nothing personal, I just don't like you. Um, anything else here? Nope. Nothing that I'm interested in. When I did my playthrough, I never really took the time to explore the village. Icarus! Sorry, can't talk. Busy speak to Tamron. Okay. Icarus stash chest is locked. Interesting. We'll have to figure that one out a little later. Oh, there's all kinds of people actually in here. And I know the blacksmith is here. I'm just gonna go see what everybody else is doing. You should speak to Tam. Ooh. Oh. 
Parkour! Eh. 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 Winner! Oh ho ho. It's been 15 minutes already. You know what? We're gonna go talk to the blacksmith and get our sword here just so I can have a um, actual accurate title for this. But first, last detour, I promise. Oh, house is empty. Okay, other last detail. Nope, nothing? Okay. Done speaking to Tim, and apparently. And let's go over here. Harold's place. Hi, Harold. Okay, Tamron said you were on your way. You're on a quest to find your brother. Go down the ladder, pull the sword from the stone. If you're worthy, the sword will be yours. Of course I'm worthy. I'm the chosen one. That's how this works. Although, Mick could just, like, stop the map here. <laughs> That'd be funny, actually. Nope, sorry, quest's over. Go home. I am raiding your fridge. I'll say I'm not really interested in. Alrighty. So then let's go down here. Boop. Haha! -ha! There it is, the sword in the stone. There we go. Oh, cool, I received my first sword, and I'm off to Stonewall Village. To speak to Bleeker. Hey, that's that's me. Um, I'll elaborate more on that next time. When we come back, we are going to go speak to the mayor of Stonewall Village. And then we're going to... Uh, let's see here. Speak to the mayor. Actually, we're going to be... Um, going to be a lot of dialogue in the next one before we get to some real action. But uh, yes, you can look forward to that and more when we come back to the next episode of MapQuest. The Portal Crystals. Until next time, guys, this has been Bleeker. Be seeing you. Mm -hmm.